pot, not piss. Cannabis, not alcohol. Legalize recreational marijuana. Stop binge drinking. Now, I'm not advocating alcohol prohibition. You know, the Jagger Hoover and the Aitollahs have all failed. Moses failed. I'm not suggesting alcohol prohibition. It is the prohibition of marijuana that is unjust. So we see in the states, we've got five states now who've legalized recreational marijuana. Because marijuana is our holy communion. Alcohol is a communion that has been forced upon us by the Roman Catholic Church. Alcohol is like a chemical lobotomy. You know what I mean? It's an ego thing to get someone drunk and then to wind them up and let them make a fool of themselves. Whereas marijuana is a communal thing. Marijuana is our holy communion. Marijuana is the baptism of fire. Marijuana is our real relationships, our real reasoning together, our real mutual understanding. Marijuana is for the healing of the nations. Binge drinking is the destruction of our communities and our families and of our cities and towns and our way of life our whole community activity destroys families the alcohol destroys lives so it needs to be restricted it needs to be restricted marijuana is holy and safe it's a yin-yang thing in the States. There's a, a tsunami for the pressure for legalization. The waste of money trying to enforce the law when the police and the courts all know that all marijuana charges are malicious prosecutions because they know the law is unenforceable. So they have targets. You know, they victimize in stop and frisk, stop and search. They victimize the vulnerable, the ones on the street, so the police can bully them to maintain, the, you know, to excuse their inadequacy, like the redneck police of Ferguson, thinking that they're better than the marijuana smokers because they drink pot, not piss. Pot not piss for our youth, for our, for our young people. You know, the age re restrictions depend upon the community. How it will be cont contained, uh, 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 I, I don't know. But the, the, you look around and there's head shops everywhere. The sales of water flowering cannabis seeds, they're out of stock. You know, these seeds can be grown in a 10 inch pot in your patio everyone can grow it in two months they can have an ounce or two of the best quality from one seed in a pot the law is unenforceable the police know that they're victimizing people who, with cannabis charges the courts know they are victimizing people they are malicious prosecutions you must say so if you're arrested or charged with anything. Why should the police be allowed to steal weed from our youth when it has cost a, a lot of money just to demoralize them, just to brutalize and demoralize them? You know, the whole law puts the police in an invidious position, showing their spiteful and nasty nature. They're bullies. And then they have to go out and fight all the alcoholics you know, all hours of the day and night. Ridiculous position they're in. Ridiculous. 
and this is sanctioned because there's money in alcohol money in alcohol all the, all the streets, all the centres are, are geared up to it even the religion dishes it out as a communion people who drink don't understand words they don't w believe words any oath taken while under the influence of alcohol it should be you know should be counted as meaningless an oath to get married when you're drunk meaningless establishing a relationship with someone going out to pull to find someone for a relationship on alcohol meaningless meaningless these are the these are the questions marijuana is for reasoning together reasoning together but now we have a state where it's you know for example in the, in the job centers it's now sanction the vulnerable sanction the vulnerable they're, they're on a quota they have to sanction I don't know three four whatever number they say it could be ten every day every week to get paid and so they pick up on the vulnerable they pick up on the vulnerable the isolated vulnerable the police with the marijuana laws pick up on the vulnerable the isolated vulnerable this is the society that we're paying for bullies victimizing the vulnerable in the name of a law that cost billions to the economy ridiculous but now you must face up to reality marijuana legalization is coming it is the global revolution it won't stop marijuana is not intrinsically antisocial the binge drinking has got to stop it is destroying us destroying our communities destroying our families it's insane it's insane we make life intolerable and drive them all to drink and then they become a burden I mean, where are they going to get all their new livers from we should show the young the dangers of alcohol the effects on the body the long term effects on the body I speak as cannabis smoker of 47 years standing 